Okay, so Cyberpunk finally has the big patch we've all been waiting for, but don't expect it to do any absolute miracles on older hardware. We're going to test it out here on the GTX 1066 GB, and right now we've got the game running at, well, I'll just show you. The settings are 1080p in full screen mode. The graphic settings are in the ultra preset, which yes, I know is stupid, but we're starting there, okay? <laughs> and then the biggest update uh, is the uh, introduction of Fidelity FX Super Resolution, that is FSR. And this is really cool. Although at lower resolutions like 1080p, there is a big trade-off to visual quality. So we're gonna explore that a little bit. Is it worth it? Also, we now have a benchmark mode, which is extremely interesting. So I still like kind of looking at a live city scene though, rather than the benchmark. The benchmark gets you a good idea of the variety of scenes that you can see in the game. But in my opinion, I think it makes sense to adjust graphic settings based on the lows, right? Like what is a kind of worst case scenario? Well, maybe not absolute worst case. What's your worst like worst case that comes up frequently, which is gonna be these kind of open city sections like this where you can see I'm not quite able to lock 30 frames per second maxed out at uh, 1080p. Now, what I wanna look at next is, first of all, ultra is just kinda silly. We're gonna turn it down to high, and sure, we could do some kinda custom settings here, but just for the sake of quick testing, let's just use the high preset and see what happens here. So we're now over 30 FPS stably. And let's see about going around here where it was a little bit harder looking out into the distance. Ah, nice, we are now over 30. So you can definitely lock 30 FPS here at the high settings. The performance may be slightly better than it used to be on the previous patch here, but I'm not gonna say there's any kind of night and day difference. So one of the biggest changes again is that introduction of FSR. Now, whether or not FSR makes sense to you at 1080p, you know, let's just go ahead and take a look and see what we think. So at the ultra quality setting, that's really as far as I think it would make sense to go. This is gonna lower the render resolution of the game and then apply AMD's uh, upscaling, spatial upscaling, which has a lot of edge detection to try to, and kind of blends things together. So, you know, if you're not looking too closely at the details, it might still feel kind of like a native image, at least better than a extremely simple upscaling technique. Now you'll notice that we're now into the mid 40s and the game is extremely playable now uh, at these settings. Not that you couldn't play it at 30 FPS, although if I was gonna play at 30 FPS, I'd probably use a controller because I find that low frame rates uh, tend to feel smoother on a controller than, than when I'm swinging my mouse around. The mid 40s is kind of my bottom limit on swinging my mouse around. <laughs> So I do think that this gets us there. Now, there is a big trade-off using that uh, FSR to my eye at 1080p. Like, watch my 4K video on my 6800 XT, and I think it's absolutely worth it, and it's a very small visual difference. But here, it's kind of a bigger change. So what I wanna look at now is, let's compare that to going all the way down to medium settings. So if we go all the way down to medium settings, it's not actually as impactful as using FSR at the high settings. Now we're up into the 40s though without needing FSR. But the question is, you know, in demanding scenes like this, is it possible to hit 60? Well, one option is we could go ahead and kick on the FSR with the ultra quality setting at the medium settings and see if that gets the rest of the job done. Looks like we're getting close, but we're not quite there. We are in the 50s, it's the mid 50s. And again, I need to be clear that like when I turn this direction, we actually got closer to 60. In many scenes of the game, we would be well over 60 FPS. And like if I run the built-in benchmark tool, you'll definitely see that. Uh, definitely see that being the case. However, let's go ahead and once again kick off FSR, it looks like we almost found a 60 FPS mode, <laughs> but let's go ahead and just take it all down to low. And again, this is at native. So low at native is probably a 60 FPS average in this game, although in scenes like this one, again, this open city environment with all of the vehicles and pedestrians is quite demanding. And you'll see that in this scene, even all the way down to low, we are not actually able to hold 60 FPS, although it's not that unplayable or anything like that.
Now, if you're like, okay, this is a first person game, I, I, I want to have high frame rates, uh, well, maybe FSR might be worth it. So now we're going all the way down to low settings. FSR ultra quality. And we are now well over 60 FPS uh, and uh, holding 60 at maybe a little dips here. This is, again, look at how many character models and vehicles are on screen right now with all the weather effects. So even in a scene like that, we can drop below 60. So basically my conclusion here is that this patch did not do any miracles uh, when it comes to performance on old GPUs or anything like that. FSR is nice to have, um, but it's, again, not going to uh, completely save the day. Now, in my opinion, medium looks so much better than, um, medium looks so much better than low that I really don't think I would go all the way down to low. And again, even though we're not able to hold 60 at medium, uh, it is possible... Okay, that was again using the ultra quality preset. So this is medium with, with the ultra quality FSR. You're getting pretty close to 60. And I think I will just show you guys the built-in benchmark tool to kind of finish out the video to see that using FSR along with the medium settings uh, in a variety of scenes is going to perform much better than that extremely demanding open city environment that I was showing you here. So this is the built-in benchmark. I'm really glad that we have it now. It takes us through the, uh, you know, Coyote Bar, where, is that what it's called? It's been a while since I played the game. <laughs> anyway, um, but lots of character models on, scene, on screen here and everything. Honestly, the medium settings here with the FSR Ultra Quality are looking reasonably okay. Again, FSR is very noticeable at 1080p, but it's also getting us a noticeable uptick in performance, and the alternative of going down to low settings was pretty brutal when it came to the overall look of the game. So, yeah. As we step out of that bar scene here, we've seen a lot of scenes over 60 or even over 70 FPS at these settings. But again, there is a noticeable drop in image quality uh, using FSR. Getting out here into the open city environment during the daytime like this, again, we do get some dips into the 50s and even slightly below it, uh, but at no point is it unplayable. So I'm not going to say that, you know, this patch somehow made the game just wonderful to play on a GTX 1060, but we can go ahead and average about 60 FPS at medium settings with FSR ultra quality, and that that is some big trade-offs on visual quality. But it's also, you know, pretty playable. <laughs> what do you guys think? Have an excellent day.